Hey, it's Pinky here from PinkysCulinaryCarnival.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make a leftover turkey soup inspired by Mexican flavors. Beautiful, colorful, delicious. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is to do your stock. So you just put all of your bones and meat in a large pot, stock pot, and cover that with water and then you're going to add some carrot and celery and onion parsley if you'd like whatever you want to cook that for about two hours and then cool it off now the reason that I cool it off is because in that first scene there you see that I can scoop off some of the accumulated fat that's on the top and second, because it's easier to uh, get the chicken off of the bones, as you can see here, if the soup is cold. And third, it just adds more flavor if you let the broth just sit with the bones in it, like overnight. So then when you're ready to make your soup, you're going to pull the meat off the bones. You only want to cook your stock for a couple hours so that like your neck bone like I'm doing here so that the little bones don't fall apart. It's a lot easier to clean the meat off of it and to be able to get all those smaller bones. So then once you've got that all cleaned up you're going to get your ingredients together. I have my mirepoix here which is celery, carrot, and onion. I've got some garlic cloves minced, some coriander, some additional dehydrated garlic, cumin, a can of black beans, and a can of diced tomatoes in just juice, a can of corn. Here I have some roasted jalapeno peppers that I froze from my garden this summer, and some frozen chipotle and adobo. You're going to bring your stock back up to a boil, like a low boil, and then add your mirepoix and your garlic. And then you're going to add the additional garlic, the granulated garlic, about a tablespoon or so. I like a lot of garlic. And then a couple big fat handfuls of cumin. So maybe a couple, two, three tablespoons of cumin. Again, I like cumin. And then a tablespoon or so of coriander. And then you're going to want to cook that for about an hour or so, 45 minutes. Uh, on a slow simmer so that you can soften up the mirepoix. Then you're going to add your can of tomatoes and your rinsed and drained black beans. And then again you can cook that for an hour or so just to let those flavors all mingle. Look it's already just a great color isn't it? So then after about an hour or so, you're going to add your chipotle and adobo, sliced up, a couple peppers and some juice depending on how hot you like it. And then I've got one or so of my roasted jalapenos there that I chopped up also. It depends on how hot you like it. My husband's kind of a wuss, so I don't make anything that's too overly spicy hot. So if you like spicy, feel free to add a bunch more. Then... Oh, I had to go to the grocery store because I thought, how am I going to make a Mexican-inspired turkey soup without garbanzos? So I picked up a can of garbanzos, put that in there. They don't have to cook very long since they're canned. Just enough to really heat through. And then just before you are ready to serve, you're going to add your can of tomatoes. And while I was at the grocery store, I also grabbed a can of black olives. And so I chopped them up and I'm going to add them to. What a gorgeous, colorful soup this is, isn't it? Now you just want the corn and the black olives just to heat through. You don't, it, the corn will get tough if you overcook that. So just heat that through. 
And then to serve, I serve it with some shredded lettuce on top and a little bit of grated cheese, some radishes for some more color, and then I also make some homemade tortilla chips, but you could use bagged tortilla chips also. Subscribe to our channel below and click that like button. Like and subscribe to our social media links below and share this video with just about everybody you know so they don't miss any of our great recipes either. Now thanks for watching today and have fun cooking.